Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great start to the week. I'm here to tell you about things that I've been loving. This past month I have made a list. I have gathered together all the physical things that I could and they are beside me and also behind me. Anything I can link, I will link in the description box down below. So this month was January. It was my birthday this month. I turned 32. Um, I'm not a huge fan of birthdays. I love other people's birthdays and it's not as if I don't want to age. I'm not afraid of aging. I'm just, I don't know, birthdays have always been very, very casual. But Miss M and I used it as an excuse to go away, leave London and go away to the countryside for the weekend, which was really lovely. So we went to the New Forest and I'll insert some pictures here. It wasn't really for my birthday. It was just using it as an excuse to do something because one of my New Year's resolutions this year was to try and achieve a better work-life balance and I haven't really done it throughout the month as a whole but I certainly did it this weekend so that's progress and um, so we went to the New Forest we made friends with this tiny little dude called Kevin don't know if he's called Kevin he was great and um, we watched all of sex education it was quite a rainy weekend so as well as going on walks we curled up reading and also watching sex education which is a favorite of mine too that's on netflix and i applaud it for its representation of um, queerness and of virginismus and of Gillian Anderson's excellent play suits. It's, it's a really heartwarming funny but also has good things to say in it show i'll link the trailer in the description box I thought my favourite film of the month was going to be The Favourite, and it wasn't. I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it for some reason. I don't know. I really adored The Lobster, so I was surprised I didn't love it more, though I very much adored Olivia Colman in it. And my favourite film of the month was Can You Ever Forgive Me, which stars Melissa McCarthy and Richard E. Grant. It's about Lee Israel, who is writing fake letters from actors and writers to try and make money. It's got great, great queer, I can't speak, it's got great queer rep in it. It's funny, it's moving. I think Richard E. Grant was just fantastic. Even better than he was in Spice Girls the movie. A game I've been really loving this month. The box is in the other room, but we had a few scattered cards on the table, which I grabbed. This is Linky, which I'm sure that many of you have also played and enjoyed. It is best when you play it with lots of people, though you can play it really if you want to do with two people, and Mr. M and I have done that, but it's not as good as playing it with loads of people when you've got friends and family around. It is a game where you take it in turns to be the question master, and you ask the group four questions, they scribble their answers down on a piece of paper as you read them out, as you read out the questions, and they have to work out, once they have those four answers, what the link is between those four answers. It gets rather competitive, and it's just, it's a lot of fun. So if you haven't played it before, I very much recommend. Now, as I said, it was my birthday this month, and I got a few lovely things for my birthday, which I thought I would quickly show you. I got these, ooh, these coasters from my mum, which have been sitting on our bedside table, so they say M and J. I don't know where she got these from, so I'm afraid I can't be helpful on that front, but I've been really, really loving using those. And speaking of coasters, my mum-in-law, so Mr M's mum, bought me this mug, which is from Anthropology, in which I think is really lovely. Huge teacups are my favourite kind of mug, and the lovely Jean got me these two things. She has a bit of a tradition with my birthday. She buys me bear related things, which is why she bought me the Yorick necklace last year or the year before. So this year she bought me this, which is a tree decoration, but I just have him sitting. Oh, that was too high. Sorry, you can see him. I just have him sitting on um, just above my desk. He's a very sweet little chap. And she also got me this Emma Bridgewater mug, which has a bear on it and lots of other winter creatures. Oh, speaking of mugs, some of you have been asking me if I will film a video where I show you my book and tea collections. Is this something that you are interested in? I know it's not particularly bookish, but books and tea go well together, and I feel like we often enjoy mugs. Many people that I know who have lots of books also have lots of mugs, so if that's something you would like me to do, please let me know. Lauren from Lauren of the Books bought me this pin, which I'm wearing here. I will zoom in so that you can see it, but it says Dungarees Appreciation Club, which is obviously on point. And other Lauren, lovely Lauren Wade Reads, bought me this candle, which smells of books, old books. It smells great. It was also Sana's birthday over at Books and Quills, and for her birthday, I took her on a surprise outing. 
the outing itself wasn't a surprise, I didn't just knock on her door and drag her outside, but um, I took her on a surprise trip to an interactive art exhibit. I want to do more of those after loving the exhibit that Mr M and I went to in Tokyo so much, the Planet Lab exhibit, which I'll link down below because it was so good. Um, and I saw that the Saatchi Gallery had one on, which was called We Live in an Ocean of Air. So I took her there and it was really surreal and strange. I think she found it more overwhelming than I did. I found it more calming. Those seem to be the two reactions that people going into the exhibit had. Either you found it a little bit much because it's quite intense or you kind of, you got the chance to relax into a little bit. And I found it, yeah, as I said, almost like meditating. Um, it's virtual reality and I had never done virtual reality before and I completely get why that is overwhelming because at the beginning when I put um, the goggles on I did feel that was a little bit claustrophobic just for a minute and then it was okay. It was actually quite a quick exhibit. It's only 15 minutes long plus the time it gets to link you up to everything at the beginning. I'll link the website in the description box down below because it's kind of hard to explain but um, I put on the virtual reality headset uh, and I wore a backpack and I wore these cuffs on my wrists which said we're gonna map out um, my hands. I don't know if they use, I think they were using lasers and also they were um, mapping out my heartbeat too. Um, and I thought that they wouldn't be very good at mapping out my hands um, for obvious reasons, but it was very, very accurate. I was really impressed by that actually. So what happens when you put the headset on, I know they said the head desk, the headset on, um, is you can see this huge tree and you can walk towards this tree and other people around you are doing the same things. People are red dots of energy so you know not to walk into each other but you can step inside this tree and the tree then morphs into the universe and you kind of get to see in art form human how humans interact with nature and the effects that they have on nature. So when you were breathing out you could see your breath in visual form in these beautiful pur purple and blue bubbles. So yeah I thought it was amazing and then it, as I said, it morphed into the universe and that was the bit that was a little bit overwhelming because you could look all around you and down and part of your brain is thinking, I'm standing on nothing and this is space and part of your brain is going, don't be silly, you're standing on the floor and I can feel it. So that is a little bit weird, but I very much enjoyed it and I'm gonna look into other things that that production company and those um, design guys are gonna bring out soon because I definitely like to go to more of their stuff. Two people outside of booktube that I have been loving recently, we have an old favourite, that is Jenna Marbles. She just brings me joy. Jenna is, you can trust her to make you laugh. She has been the same, and I mean that as a compliment, the same on YouTube for the past however long she's been doing it, over 10 years. She's one of the first people I ever watched on YouTube. She still makes weekly videos, and it's just, it is a joy. So if you need some good old fashioned, fun and laughs in your life and you haven't watched her videos for some inexplicable reason then please go and check out her channel it's the content that you didn't know that you need that you really really do need and the other person i've been loving on youtube is mark martel he is a huge fan of queen and he sings very much like freddie mercury he has done the queen extravaganza he's toured singing as freddie not dressed as freddie but performing in a similar way and he also was involved in the film bohemian rhapsody so when you hear singing in that film i believe it's a mixture of rami malek freddie mercury and mark martel and i haven't been able to stop listening to his version of love of my life which breaks my heart every time i listen to it and i'll link it in the description box down below love of my life. My favourite walk that I did this month was actually one that I did on New Year's Day with my mum. She had come to visit for a couple of days and we took her and Mr M's mum on a long walk from Marlow to Henley and back again. It was about 23 kilometres but it's mostly flat and you go along the River Thames through um, some private grounds which had white deer in them and through many adorable villages with lovely pubs which you could go into for lunch if you wanted to. We had brought a packed lunch with us because 
that's who we are but um, it would have been nice actually to stop in a pub as well you could probably only do that I think if you went dur walking during the spring summer months and um, we had to eat our lunch quickly and keep going because obviously you're limited to daylight hours and we didn't want to get stuck in the dark anywhere um, but it was a really beautiful walk and if you're interested I will link the route in the description box down below a random favourite is this little thing that I bought this month. This is a water bottle that I got, if you couldn't tell, that I bought from Oliver Bonus. I've been meaning to buy one for ages. I had just been using a plastic water bottle that I kept on refilling, but they're not as good as having this one is glass, this one is glass, and it, this is definitely better. It feels cleaner, um, and ultimately I don't have to replace it as often as I would with just a standard plastic bottle. So if you're interested in picking up something like this, I'll link the one that I have in the description box down below. Um, and I'll link the Keep Cup that I have as well, which I think is just a, it's a Keep Cup brand. Um, and then finally, my last favorite is sitting behind me right here. So this is Anastasia. She is a spider plant. I've shown her in a favorites video before. Um, Jean bought her for me and Mr. M when we got married last year. But as you can see, she is huge. This is not the um, pot that she came in. Jean, if I can pick it up. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Jean gave her to us in this pot here, which is much, much smaller, but she has grown and is very happy. So I have um, propagated a lot of her spider plant babies. And so this is Anya, who is in this pot. And then this one here is another little Anya. And I love these pots. I also bought one, um, another pot, at, I think it was at Home Base or something for Jean and gave her a little spider plant baby as well. So this pot is from H&M. And this one is from uh, TK Maxx. And um, as I said, I'll link those down below if I can. I can't link this one, but I might be able to link this one. Uh, and my absolute final favorite is what was in the thumbnail. And I'll just go grab them. This is my final favorite. These are lilies. So many beautiful lilies kind of hard to hold and talk to at the same time. Uh, these I bought from Columbia Road Flower Market, which I've never been to before and actually stumbled across completely by accident when I was going somewhere else in Hackney. Um, and I had four pounds in my pocket, so I bought these white lilies. And I didn't realize that they would be as huge and beautiful as this. Um, so that that was great. I recommend Columbia, Flower Road Columbia Road Flower Market if you happen to stumble across it on purpose or accidentally. <laughs> Those are all of the things that I have been loving recently. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. Let me know in the comment section what you have been enjoying recently and I will speak to you soon. Lots of big love. Bye!